you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of GameSquare Esports Inc., Justin Kenna. How are you doing today, Justin? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Love to learn more about your company. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with GameSquare. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm Australian. I've been over in the States for, for about seven years. I uh, actually got introduced, I was running uh, strategy and finance for a production company at the time, and I actually got introduced to the guys at FaZe Clan. So, uh, nice. you know, FaZe Clan is the, the biggest brand within gaming and esports. Wow. Uh, however, you know, very different then to, to where they're at now. I was introduced to the guys there around four years ago, you know, eight guys working out of the house, um, took a bit of a risk and moved over to FaZe. I was the, the CFO of FaZe Clan for the past three years. Uh, we took phase from you know eight people working working out of the house and you know, roughly a million dollars in revenue to you know, well over a hundred people and, and around sixty million revenue currently. Uh, number three on the Forbes most valued list. Uh, you know to touch over three hundred mil currently. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean uh, I had I met the guys at uh, Game Square end of last year through uh, one of my one of my uh, banking relationships and kind of felt like it was time to, to go on and grow my own thing. So uh, started in an advisory capacity, but was announced as CEO earlier this year. And uh, yeah, really excited by what we're, what we're building and, and actually looking at the moment to, to look at different ways of, of partnering with FaZe Clan and, and other agency businesses. Fantastic. Can you tell us what the main goals are for 2021 for GameSquare Esports? Totally. So, so GameSquare Esports is really focused on the agency digital marketing media verticals within gaming and esports, which is, you know, where we feel that the real margins lie within this industry. Uh, I think you'll see, you know, there's everybody understands that the gaming industry is hot, right? And it's, it's growing and there's huge eyeballs, there's a lot of money being spent in the space. But I think the question marks are starting to come around valuation and these huge multiples for orgs that are actually burning quite a bit of cash we're not in that business. So we're not looking at, you know, high cash burning assets where we have four assets in our portfolio. Currently uh, we, we're deep in talks to, to add another two um, where we're definitely really bullish on the organic growth of the assets we have, but we are looking at, you know, complementary accretive M&A within those verticals that I was referring to. Uh, we feel that we can be, you know, one of, you know, the only publicly listed companies within this space of revenue scale that's actually profitable. And we think, you know, the next sort of 12 to 24 months, that's actually going to start to become really important. There's been a lot of money, you know, as I said, invested in this space, high cash burning assets. That's fine at the moment, right? It's early days. As this market matures, I think there's going to be some real question marks around trajectory to profitability and we're, we're well on that path. That's great. Now, you guys had some huge news recently welcoming Tony Hawk, obviously legendary skateboarding pro, entrepreneur, and gaming icon as a special advisor. Can you go through this news with us and let us know what this means for the company? Yeah, totally. So, I mean, Tony Hawk's resume obviously speaks for itself, right? He's a, he's a, a cultural icon. You know, he changed the, changed the face of his sport forever. But I think, you know, importantly, you know, what people may not know is his sort of business pedigree and his background there. Um, so it's sort of twofold. I mean, one is, you know, having Tony a part of our advisory meetings and you know, having uh, his experience and someone to, to lean on. And he's already been super helpful to me personally. Um, but, you know, his networks and connections and being able to utilize those and bring him into the fold, I think is really helpful at a corporate level. Um, and then the second part is really, uh, you know, partnering with him and his agency businesses and our agency business in, in LA, GCN, are doing some really, really cool stuff in, in the gaming space currently. And it's starting to integrate him into projects that we're doing, working with his agency business around how we can help his brand and, and growing, you know, uh, his brand within this huge audience, right? I think one of the really interesting things about Tony is that, you know, he has this like cross-generational audience where, you know, it's 
it's guys that are 40 and 50 that recognize him, but but so do so do young kids as well, right? He, totally. you know, he, has, he has his own video game. So yeah. there's a lot of a lot of really cool crossover and, and we're looking at you know a number of different ways and building out a, a strategy for him to grow his brand and and looking to to partner with him and integrating him into you know, some of the really cool projects that we've got going on. That's great. Now GameSquare Esports Inc. recently signs new sales partnership with Evan Matchup even matchup gaming. Can you tell us how this will help the sales of the company? Yeah, totally. So, so not just even matchup. I mean, we have, um, you know, partnerships signed with uh, Deserto. Um, we're looking at different ways, you know, as I alluded to before, of partnering with FaZe Clan and other orgs. It's really interesting. We're, we're actually positioned really well um, through GCN, our agency business, because not only can they do, you know, bespoke campaigns for brands, you know, those real soup to nuts campaigns, they can actually come in and um, touch the, the the campaigns at different value points. So, for example, you know, somebody like a FaZe Clan or even Matchup Gaming, if they're running an event or a tournament, what we can do because of our partner networks with websites and our reach, you know, we're getting 115 million uh eyeballs unique eyeballs every month is wow. that we can actually amplify these events and tournaments and programs as well as create sort of the bespoke campaign so you know our, our whole kind of ethos is around connecting global brands to this huge end audience which is the esports and gaming communities and that that audience is fragmented and it's growing um, we understand that audience we can reach that audience and it, and it gives us a lot of power you know to, to partner with EMG and, and, and plenty of other orgs in, in the, in the space. That's great. Now, a lot of companies have been going public in the esports gaming sector this year so far. Can you tell us what sets GameSquare apart from its competitors in the esports space? Totally. So, I mean, it's early days for us, but you know, we are growing quickly, you know, as I was talking about before, we're really, really bullish about our organic growth, but you will see some, some M&A action from us, I'd say in the, in the coming months, um, you nice. know, where we've been, we've been having some great conversations, which are, um, you know, get, getting getting closer to the finish line. Um, we're, we're really excited about that. So I think what you'll see is, as I was sort of alluding to before, we're really uh, concentrating on it. It's not to say that we won't look at team-based assets. We will, but we won't be deploying a lot of cash in, in those spaces. And what I mean is, if you look at the franchise model within a lot of the orgs, you know, 20, $30 million buy-ins. Um, we won't be raising money to put a lot of cash into games that may or may not be relevant in five, 10 years time. Um, what I think you'll see and what I think sets us apart is that we, we you know, one, as I was talking about before, we partner with um, the, the, the right website partners and publishers that can really reach these eyeballs. But we're really concentrating on the high margin yielding areas of gaming and esports within those agency marketing media verticals. And we feel that you know, very soon we're going to be one of the only publicly listed companies of revenue scale that's profitable. And I think that really sets us apart. Now, when you're building a team and you're building a business, your team is super important. Can you go through the members of GameSquare's team and what each person brings to the table? For sure. So I, I won't go into you know, everyone within the org, because now with the four assets under our portfolio, I mean, there's a lot of people and a lot of key people. And I mean, I feel extremely lucky to be working with the people that I'm working with. We have a, a world-class team and, and continue to grow. So at the corporate level, you know, I'm partnering with Kevin Wright, who's our president. I mean, Kevin and I are, are so aligned on the vision and I'm extremely lucky to work with Kevin. Uh, Kevin has a, has a research background. He's analytical. He's a great thinker. He gets the space. Um, so, so Kevin you know, came out of Canaccord Genuity. And uh, I mean, it, it's amazing getting on, you know, investment calls with prospective shareholders and banking relationships. And I mean, his reputation is, is, is amazing. And, and you know, so many people want to continue working with him who used to work with him. So I think that's a great sign. Uh, Jan Neumeister, our, our head of European operations, uh, Jan and I actually met when uh, Jan was running the, the media business at Manchester City. Uh, Jan's based wow. in the UK. Uh, Jan came over with me and, uh, you know, 
I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but FaZe Clan and Manchester City have a have an ongoing uh, relationship and, and Jan and I were, were instrumental in, in actually getting that done and it, wow. that continues today. Jan came over and was running partnerships for me in Europe at FaZe Clan and I was lucky enough to, to have him come over with us again to Game Square. So he's overseeing Code Red currently. Uh, he's the, the glue to what is going to be, I uh, would say, a... a a uh, really um, you know, high growth area for us through Europe. Uh, we're looking at some some interesting acquisitions over there, and I mean we're we're so lucky to have Jan, and he's incredibly networked. Um, the, you know the GCN guys. I'll just touch on them really quickly. Uh, you know, run by uh, Keo Wimmer and, and Jeff Griffith. I mean, they are world class in what they're doing. You know, Keo uh, comes out of uh, Fox Sports. He was very senior there, and um, again, you know. The, the, the meetings that we've been able to have and the, the you know, talk about being networked. I mean, Keo and Jeff know, know everybody. Uh, you know, Jeff was running Curse Media, which was, uh, you know, acquired by Twitch. So running the media arm of Twitch. And they've recently brought on their, their CMO, Chris Kent. And uh, I mean, Chris's background also super impressive, comes out of, you know, Red Bull Media House. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we're assembling what I'd say is a, is a world-class team. Wow, it's very impressive. If there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Game Square today, what would it be? Yeah, I think it's that we're in, a, in an age and a world where I think, you know, everybody's concentrating on the story, right? When, when it comes to capital markets and the optics of how a company may look, especially in an industry that is as sexy as gaming, um, we're really focused on the fundamentals. And, and we think that you know, some of the, the deals that we have in our pipeline, you know, they definitely uh, tick the, the sexy box, but we're, we're really concerned about the fundamentals and making sure that you know, we are bringing in assets that are you know, cash flow positive or you know, uh, that are on the trajectory to being so. So that doesn't mean that every single asset we look at is EBITDA positive, but it's, but it's a real focus for us. High revenue growth, EBITDA positive, or, if they are assets that fit our story that we can plug in, you know, our agency business, our media solution into the org, make multiples in the public market and put them on a trajectory to profitability. I'd say we're really, we're really bullish about the long-term growth here. We're not in it to buy revenue. We're not in it to sell a sexy story. We're, we're in this to build what we think will fundamentally be, you know, the biggest media uh, agency business within gaming and esports. Wow. That's really impressive. I think you guys are on the right track and I like your business model. There's going to be shareholders and investors from all over the world that will see this video. What's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Yeah. So, I mean, I, uh- we're actually going through a, a bit of a redesign at the moment around our logo and our websites and our social pages and getting things buttoned up. But, you know, on our website, gamesquare.com, uh, I think Kevin, our president, his uh, contact details are there, which is Kevin at gamesquare.com. But, you know, please reach out to me directly. I mean, Justin at gamesquare.com is my, my email address. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm easily found on LinkedIn and, uh, you know, Kevin and I are both open for business 24 hours a day. You know, we're, we, we live and breathe this. We're, we're so excited about the trajectory we're on and, and really bullish about our future. So yeah, please don't hesitate to, to add us on LinkedIn or reach out via email. Um, you know, always looking to bring in people who, who share our vision and, and, and are keen to get on the ride of you know, building something really cool in this space. Well, very excited to see you guys grow. Thank you for joining us today, Justin. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Now, before we say goodbye, always remember, guys, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please consult a financial advisor before you make an investment in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I think this is a company that is in the right space, a hot sector, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Justin, for joining us, and have a nice day, everybody.